everyone, Elena here from Better Me Blossoming, uh, where I'm on a journey to lose 100 pounds. I just got back from Europe. I've been following, I had been following keto since January. I went off keto while I was in Europe for two weeks. I am back now and I'm just gonna let you know how that went. So when I went to Europe, I slowly like weaned myself off of keto. I ate like, like not sugar, but I ate a couple bread items a couple days before the trip. And then when I was in Europe, I just ate whatever I wanted. Um, the first two days, my stomach hurt so bad. Uh, that I was like, why did I do this? And I did get better and I got used to eating carbs again. The only thing is that my energy, I lost my energy. I broke out a little bit. I got headaches almost every day. I would have to take something. Um, and I just weighed myself this morning and I gained 6.2 pounds. Now, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was gonna come back and I had gained like at least 10 pounds. That's what I thought, that's what I prepared myself for. So I was kind of, you know, happy when it was just 6.2 pounds. Um, I have, today is my first day back on keto. I haven't eaten yet. I'm gonna do some intermittent fasting just to get myself back into ketosis faster. Um, I'm gonna let you know what I eat today and show you what I um, ate today. Um, I am excited to get back uh, into ketosis, get my energy back, lose the water weight that I have put on. I feel so bloated right now. And hopefully I have 6.2 pounds of water weight <laughs> and I'll go back to what I weighed before I left for my trip, which was 210 pounds. Um, and I, I eventually, in case you don't know, want to get down to 150, 145 pounds. Um, but I'm gonna do that by doing the keto diet and working out. I'm gonna start back with keto. I'm not working out yet. I wanna get into ketosis before I do that so I don't wear myself out and start craving things. Um, I will say though, even while I was eating that stuff, like it is never as good as you imagine it's going to be. Um, I was so excited to go off of keto and eat croissants and desserts and, you know, burgers and with buns and stuff like that. But it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. And I even said on the last few days of our trip to my husband, I can't wait to go back on keto. Like, the way that I feel on keto is so much better than the way that anything tastes off keto and that's the truth and that's something I'm proud of because this is the first time ever that my mindset has changed to where I want to be on keto I am not on this because I feel like it's a necessity and want to lose weight wait <coughs> I love the way that I feel when I'm on it so that being said I'm going to restart today I'm gonna show you what I have today for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or just lunch and dinner, depending on how hungry I am. It is now around noon, and I haven't eaten yet. I'll probably wait, I got some work to do here, um, and then I'll go up and I'll make myself something to eat, something keto, and I'll let you know what that is. Um, if you're new here and want to continue on with me on this journey, and you know, do the check-ins with me and the weigh-ins, um, please subscribe down below and let's just get right into what I ate today. For breakfast, I had what I typically have on keto. I have coffee with this keto collagen powder from Trader Joe's. It's only $19.99 and it's by far the best flavor that I've found. And then of course, heavy cream. I like to put it on the bottom so that my coffee stays nice and hot. And for the collagen powder, I only use half a scoop because I find it's way too sweet if I use a full one. And that was my breakfast. For lunch, I had a yummy um, scramble. I just added 
some deli ham and a little bit of shredded cheese and just cooked this over a tablespoon of grass-fed butter. This is such an easy meal. I make this for lunch all the time. For dinner, I had this keto pizza, shredded mozzarella with egg, cooked at 450 degrees for 15 minutes with yummy toppings on top, and it was delicious. So that's everything that I ate today. Um, I'm going to, uh, next week, I'm gonna do a weigh-in and show you what I lost my first week back on keto, if anything. Um, and if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram at Blossoming. and I will see you next time. Bye.